Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Anuar. I have a radiator next to me that is everything but energy efficient. I will show you how to regulate your radiator using this radiator valve. As you know, energy prices are skyrocketing, and many people only have this valve and not a thermostatic valve, or they do not have the budget to install one. Especially in rental homes, landlords are not always willing to arrange this for you. Therefore, I will give you some tips and tricks so that you can do it yourself. You do need a thermal imaging camera, but if you don't have one, no problem, I will provide a link later where you can buy cheap infrared meters. With infrared, you can measure the temperature above and below. You need a delta T of 20 degrees Celsius, which means that if it comes in at 60 degrees Celsius, it should go out at 40 degrees Celsius, and the heat should be evenly distributed. If the top is hot, the bottom should be colder, and it should not suddenly become very hot and then quickly cool down. Let me show you how it works. First, I'll grab my thermal imaging camera. This is a very handy FLIR 1 camera that you can clip onto your phone, turning it into a thermal imaging camera. Super convenient. Don't mind this radiator here because it's well connected. Actually, it's poorly connected, but I want to help you guys because every bit helps. Let's take a look. Wow, this radiator is roaring, not normal. It comes in with 60 degrees Celsius and goes out with 60 degrees Celsius, not normal. This is everything but well regulated. You have the hand wheel of the radiator valve here. I will first close it completely and then open it again. Sometimes only a small turn is necessary to get your radiator to work properly. So we're going to close it completely like this. Now it's closed, and of course, I have to let the radiator cool down. That takes a while. It's closed now, and I will open it a quarter turn. This is enough, and then we'll wait to see if the heat is evenly distributed and if it gets colder, so that we have a delta T of 20 degrees Celsius. We're about 15 minutes in, and we'll see if I have set it up correctly or if I need to adjust it a little. I'm very curious. Let's take a look. Oh, I see that the colors have already changed. That looks very good. Let me see, it's 54 degrees Celsius on top and 39 degrees Celsius on the bottom. Okay, we're about 20 minutes in now, and I'll check what the radiator is doing. I can see on my thermal imaging camera that the temperature or color of the radiator is very different. Let me check. It's 54 or 55 degrees Celsius on top and 34 degrees Celsius at the bottom. We have a delta T of 20 degrees Celsius. What I advise is to mark the radiator knob with a pen, so that you know where to put the knob back when you close and open the valve. This is very simple. Just choose a spot that's not in view and put a dot there. Now I know that when I close and open the valve, I have to put the knob on the dot. You can also draw small lines on the knob yourself. Now we're going to the hallway, where we also have a poorly regulated radiator. We're going to do exactly the same here. We'll close it completely and then open it a quarter turn. Then we'll wait another 15 minutes and see what the radiator is doing. Okay, we're about 15 minutes in now. This is the moment. We will see if the colors have changed a bit. Let me take a look. Oh yes, the colors have already changed. It comes in at 55 degrees Celsius and goes out at 37 degrees Celsius. We're almost there. This is perfect. This radiator is well regulated, and all I have to do now is mark it with a dot so that I know where to put the knob back. I do need to mention something important. This method has one major disadvantage. If you open a radiator in another room, you lose the setting. That's why I advise you to use this method for the radiators you use the most, for example, in the living room. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, so you stay informed. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.